Hey guys, uh, the last video, an average user's POV 2404, I believe a lot of you completely misunderstood the point of it. I don't know if it's just because you guys would rather hate on snaps or if you guys actually use the snaps or try the snaps out. I'm not talking about two years ago. I'm talking about in Ubuntu 2404. They do everything you guys are saying about them is false. They don't take forever to load. They are the fastest they've ever been. They're probably on my machine. They are faster than flat packs, and they just work. And you, you guys all seem to think that I was talking about how great snaps are. I was not. The point, whole point of the video is the average person that uses Ubuntu, a, an LTS Ubuntu, doesn't give a shit about whether their app that they get is a snap or a flat pack. For us, you and I, yeah, we do care where it comes from. We watch that kind of stuff. But 95% of the world out there that are using Ubuntu do not care. That is the point. Okay? That's one point. This, the other point is, you guys all... that got to let the dog out of the room. The dog thinks I am her doorman. Anyways, I digress. The average user doesn't care about where they get their stuff from. Um, you and I, the vocal... Linux users, they use Linux for a philosophical reason or for because we, we, we believe in the open source movement. We, we care, and that's why we don't like snaps. But to say that they don't work is a lie, and that's false, and that's propaganda. If you don't want to use snaps and you're not using snaps because of a philosophical reason, you should not be using Ubuntu. And you should not be going after them and hating on them just because of, you know, of, well, I'm, okay, let me rephrase that. You shouldn't be bitching about them as if you're using them because Ubuntu gave us over two years of warnings saying that they were going to do this. So stop using it if you don't like them. It's the same as, it's the same thing as these, as these people, well, I got to use Windows because my games. I got one, my, one game that I play. Find a different game if it's that important to you for your philosophical reasons. If, if you're using something or hate something because it's bad, but you continue to use it anything because you're selfish and you want to have one little thing, that's on you. So shut the fuck up. Number one, okay, that's, that's my first point. My second point is if you want to get rid of the snaps, it's real easy to do. And if you're obviously hating on Canonical and Ubuntu for using Snaps because they have a proprietary back end, you can remove them. You are smart enough to do that because you are smart enough to understand that you don't like it because it's a philosophical reason. And I'm going to show you how to do that right here. Let me get over here into my VM. This is Ubuntu 2404. Brand new, fresh install. It's not the minimal install. It's the full-on extended version install. As you can see, it's got all the fun stuff in it. Everything. And when we pull up the snaps, this is what is installed at, uh, whatchamacallit, default. These are the snaps that are installed by default. Now, to get rid of these snaps... It's actually very easy to do. Uh, like I said, if you're obviously smart enough to, to hate on Ubuntu for having snaps, 
you're obviously easy enough and smart enough to figure out how to remove them. All you have to do is go through and remove all of these. And, you know, but you got to do them one by one because they are snap. And the, the command is sudo snap remove dash dash purge and then the app name. So we're going to do, let's do Firefox first. I'll probably edit all this out because these are going to take a while because each one of these is, you know, got to disconnect all the, the connections and everything. Okay, now Firefox is removed. Now we got to go through. We got to do it for each one of these, each one of these individual ones. Do not touch the Snap D or the Snap D desktop integration until the very last. That's very important. So I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to go ahead and go through each one of these. It's really easy to do. Hit the up arrow key and then you can take out the word Firefox and replace it with uh, Thunderbird. A few moments later. And then finally, we'll do the Snap D. Oh, I got to do the auto remove. Instead of the purge, on this one, you do auto remove. No, first you do the Snap snap the purge then you do the auto remove oops now we can do the auto remove i know flag auto remove did i spell around oh pseudo apt that one's the apt not snap there we go apt auto remove yes a few moments later now you do you want to block snap t I don't think I got them installed. Nope. And what you want to do is create a file in Etsy apt preferences D and we'll call the files no snap dot pref. So we want to do sudo because you got to be into root sudo vim use nano micro whatever you want, but I'm using vim Etsy slash apt slash preferences dot d slap no snap dot pref boom okay and then this is i'll put this in the description so you can just do a copy paste if you want but you just go over here paste it in here ah shit that's right i can't paste into a virtual machine <laughs> so i'm gonna have to type this all out a few moments later. That's written there. Okay. Now you can run sudo apt update. And then check to see if there's anything. See how what we look here. Snap list. Snap not, not found. Look at that. How easy was that? Now you're going to want to sudo apt install synaptic. This will give you the Synaptic Package Manager and GNOME dash. Well, if you want Flatpak, just, you know, GNOME software dash plugin dash Flatpak and Flatpak. Boom. Well, locate non software. Oh, if I could spell plug in, there we go. Bam. Let it run. Now we got to enable uh, the flat pack, flat hub, uh, you know, flat, flat hub repo. Sudo flat pack remote dash add space space if dash not exists flat hub https colon slash slash dl dot flat hub dot org slash repo slash 
flat hub dot flat pack dot oops flat pack repo make sure I spelled everything right boom okay now that's done now we can reboot this been recording for 16 minutes And look, look at this. There is no, you've got no software center other than flat uh, GNOME software and Synaptic. But look, here we go. Snap list, no snaps, and it's still Ubuntu 24.04 with GNOME 46. All the good stuff. I don't think they support the Ubuntu Pro. I don't think that works. But, you know, you can, you can now... Go in here and look for software. Boom. And go in here and look here. Let's see if there's a, yep, there's Brave. There's a flat pack. You can install whatever you want from Flathub. It will also install devs. You know, like, you know, see so we can look for PAV U control. Yeah, there's, see this one's the flat hub one. Yep. But you can also install the dev. There you go. There's that. And then you also have Synaptic installed to get into more fine grained stuff. More than, oh, wrong password. You can install, you know, you can use Synaptic to do more fine grained stuff from, from the GUI than what you can with GNOME software. And it's still Ubuntu 2404. Um, yeah, totally possible. No, it's not possible for 95% of the people that actually use Ubuntu who don't give a shit where their, their packages come from. But again, if you're using Ubuntu and you hate on Snap, for a philosophical reason, why are you using Ubuntu? That's all I got to say. That was my point. 95% of the people out there that use Linux don't care. <laughs> they just want their shit to work. And you bitching about it and still using it is the problem <laughs> so shut up use linux mint zorn os or pop os or linux Lite, one of the many others of ubuntu based systems distros that do not have snapbacks in it but when they give you two years of warning saying we're doing this with the distro and then you freak out that they did it you're a moron and I bet I want to know what your opinion on Red Hat is do you hate on Ubuntu for having snap packs and implementing so much snap packs but still like Red Hat. I'm curious. What's your opinion on that? Don't come at me, bro, with your philosophical shit and try to straddle the fence. Because it don't work. You're either for it or you're against it. And if you're against it, then don't fucking use it. Plain and simple. Not that fucking hard to figure out. Have a nice day. <laughs>